I don't know, mate. I'm not really sure, to be honest. That's the way to go. No, I don't think I'm ready for advertisements. I mean, I've only had a few good games, so where's this coming from? I don't really want to be Arsenal's next top model. Yeah, it might bring an extra revenue for January, but just look at the Liverpool Nivea adverts. Look how that's turned out. What are we talking about, then? We could be head and shoulders above the opposition. Well, that's not true, because we're sixth. Yeah, all right. Well, fine. Okay, I guess I don't have much of a choice. I trust you. Yeah, all right. Cheers, mate. Thanks. Bye. All right, bye. Just my agent. You'll, uh, you should be expecting me in an advert soon. Um, I don't know if it'll be on your TVs, but keep your eyes peeled. Anyway, Southampton today. Let's focus on the football. That's what matters. Bonjour mes amis, yes, today there's a slightly French flavour to it as in the second episode, uh, second episode, second game of today's episode, we are going to be making the trip to Stad Ren in the Europa League where we can actually qualify from the group I believe, but before that we have a home game against Southampton and I may have been exaggerating slightly when I said we were sixth in the intro. Actually, we're fourth, and we're doing very well. I'm very impressed about things again. No players in the top goal scorers, no players in the average ratings, no players in top assists or clean sheets or anything, but we find ourselves in fourth with a record of eight games won, one drawn, and two lost in 11. Not bad. We haven't played that many of the big teams, but as you can tell from this, we are dispatching the teams that we really should be looking at. Uh, since the last time we met, which was our 2-2, spectacularly dramatic draw away at Stamford Bridge, uh, we lost at Goodison Park, which is infuriating. And you thought maybe, maybe it's beginning to have that little dip in form. But no, we bounced back nicely. 2-0 two, two wins against Astana and Leicester, respectively, at the Emirates. Got us back on the way. We ground out a 1-0 away against Charlton in the Carabao Cup for France. So we're in the quarterfinals of that. Uh, beat Newcastle 2-1 at St. James's. Beat Astana 3-1 away in the reverse fixture out of their gaff. And have just beaten Wolves 1-0 in the Premier League. We're beginning to kind of keep a little bit more in the way of clean sheets, which I'm very happy about. And the youngsters are doing brilliantly in the Europa League and Carabao Cup. It's allowing me some really good rotations so I can get the big boys in for games like today. And so here is the lineup and the now first team. Unfortunately, uh, Kalasnak has got himself a really bad injury. Uh, he hurt himself, tore his hamstring, and is out for two to six weeks. It's actually two months, but obviously he's on the recovery now. Uh, apart from that, it's pretty much as you were, really. The only Kieran Tierney's come in. Elena is in goal, Tierney, Socrates, and David Luiz uh, with Callum Chambers, who's retaining his position at right back as Bellerin is still working his way back. I know he can be occasionally quite injury prone, so I don't want to rush him back too early. Torreira, Delaney and Ceballos are just making the midfield tick at the moment. Delaney and Ceballos in particular are absolutely firing on all cylinders this year as is Nicolas Pepe who is our top scorer with six goals this season. Aubameyang's on the left and Lacazette is up front. Chap you heard me talking to in the intro by the way is my agent. Uh, you won't know him by name but I'm sure at some stage he will make an appearance in the save. The budget is low so I have to wait until I can afford a costume slash grow some good facial hair. Right, so Southampton. Oh, this looks like a familiar formation. This is a formation that beat us when uh, we played Watford. Mm, okay, I can't see many new players. Maybe Kevin Danso's new? Other than that, it's pretty much as you were. Dick Ings and Redmond looks like a pretty decent partnership up front, but they're not doing that well in the league, and we should be looking to win this game. And I'm going to assertively say I fully expect you to win and keep our winning run going. I think we've won five games on the bounce now, so this is around about the time FM usually thinks it's quite funny to chuck in a random result. Let's hope that today is not that day. We've got a good habit of scoring early in games so far this season, uh, especially in this little mini run that we're on. Aubameyang, lovely touch. Aubameyang bends it towards the back post, looking for Pepe. Pepe, oh my god, his left foot is a cannon! 1-0, get in, what a strike, less than 4 minutes in, 1-0 to the Gunners. Lovely patient build up play, Kieran Tierney has been very good since he came in, he's given us a new bit of creative outlet on that right, and on that left hand side, sorry. Poor header from Yoshida, but Pepe, I mean, that is, he's annihilated that. Another highlight here is Tierney gets the ball into his right foot, and that's a poor one, and Bertrand's picked up the ball here, and it's a good run from Bertrand, great ball over the top, looking for Nathan Redmond, Leno stands up and makes a very decent save, JWP on the ball. Whips it in. Good head away by Socrates. Redmond to Yoshida. Oh my god, good save again by Leno. And Saints are putting us under a little bit of pressure here. We're 1 0 up, but we definitely have not been the better side here. Torreira, though, over this corner. Whips it in. Looking for Lacazette at the back post. Socrates. 
Back to Torreira. He's got a decent cross on him, actually, for a defensive mid. And that is a decent ball, but about it's headed away. David Luiz, playing as a left winger, whips into the back post. And it looks like Pepe was fouled there by Ryan Bertrand. And it doesn't matter. We're going to miss the pen anyway. We've missed another two off camera. So I'm just assuming that all penalties uh, are missed in the beta. And it's something that they need to look at. Well, we'll find out here. Because this will be the third one we've missed on camera. Pepe misses this. He hasn't! Oh my god, it's a miracle. 2-0. Nicolas Pepe gets his eighth goal of the season. What a signing this boy has been. Just annoying I didn't actually make it, really, isn't it? While we hit a little low on the game, just want to say thank you again for all the support on the series. Like The videos are just cracking in the views at the moment. The subs are flying up. I'm absolutely loving uh, the response that we're getting to this. As David Louise hits an absolute worldie, and I can't believe that hasn't crossed the line. Where did this go? That replay really highlighted it for me thank you that showed me everything wonderful but i just want to say thank you so much for all the support on the series it's gone down so well and it's so good to see many of you enjoying it leaving comments keep them coming honestly i'm enjoying the amount of community that we're getting all the you know all the positive messages about everything and yeah i mean i'm really really enjoying the game i'm enjoying the save and i'm enjoying doing the creative stuff as well so why not drop a like on the video if you did enjoy the intro today and if you're just enjoying the series and the gameplay in general let me know what you think of fm20 if you've got it Right, dressing room. Got to be relatively happy. We're 2-0 up, but I'm going to say don't get complacent because if there is anything that I am a bit worried about, it's that, and only Pepe hasn't enjoyed that. So I'm going to say to him calmly, okay, now I've just confused him. So I'm to beginning the second half, very much the way that they did the first, which is pretty much on the upper hand here. Danso plays the ball into Romeu. Romeu back to JWP. We're pressing nicely, and oh, I thought we'd nick the ball off Romeu there. JWP back to Romeu. We got them really penned in here, actually. They've got the ball, but they're not going anywhere with it. And Dancer on the ball now. Go on, rob him. Go on. I've never seen pressing like it. And Sabahos has won it up the pitch. Pepe now darts inside, teases to the back post. Abamian, great save by Gunn. Can't believe Lacazette hasn't patted it in. Ah, oh, he should have tapped that in. That was a sitter. We're so good with the pressing at the moment. It really suits the way that we play. And this is front foot Arsenal football. And it's I'm sure the fans haven't seen this for quite a while. And I'm really enjoying it. Kieran Tierney, go on, mate, hit it. Oh, Kieran Tierney gets his first goal for the club with an absolute rocket into the back of the net. And the entertaining football is back at the Emirates. I did have a little bit of a whinge from the fans saying that because even though we've been winning games, we've been winning them 1-0, 2-0, 2-1, etc. We haven't really turned it on. Today, we certainly have in terms of the goals. What a finish that is from Kieran Tierney. 3 0, not even an hour gone. Get in. It's harsh on Southampton. They haven't done too much wrong. I'm going to protect Kieran Tierney a bit. He's still quite tired and coming back from a long injury. So Maitland Niles is going to come on. And um, I might take Danny Sabios off as well and bring on Gwen Doozy. Because he's been playing really well when he's come on as well as Gwen Doozy. So let's hope that he can put in another decent performance in off the bench. If any of you wonder why I'm pulling funny faces maybe at the end of my recordings when I'm going like that. Oh, it's because I've got a massive ulcer at the moment. I just cannot move it and it's really irritating. I've had it for about two weeks now and it's just infuriating. It's making eating hard. It's making drinking hard. And, you know, playing this game occasionally makes me want to drink. So, Aubameyang's going to come off. On comes Martinelli for the last ten minutes. The game is essentially won. We got this. No worries. Yoshida... Mucking about with it a little bit. JWP. Every time Southampton have gone forward, they just kind of pursue to give the ball away. But Cedric here, this is probably going to be a goal. Danny Ings. Yeah, we can't. <laughs> Jay Adams has scored. Uh, could you imagine if Jay Adams scored in real life? I'm really sorry, Southampton fans and Jay Adams. I didn't mean it. But you haven't scored in real life, mate. I'm just saying. So that's a little bit disappointing. I expected a little bit more, but... Leno has been brilliant today, and it's nice to see that the goalkeeping rating seems to have gone up a little bit this year. The fact that he's actually playing at a 7, when he's not kept a clean sheet, not saved a pen, I think is pretty decent. Uh, so a 3-1 win then to start the episode. Happy days. I'm going to give a passionate team talk and say, I'm very pleased with the result and your performance. Maybe it's not that kind of passionate. Maybe it's more of like a kind of Jurgen Klopp, George out here, sort of passionate. Ha ha ha! I love Jürgen Klopp. I'd marry Jürgen Klopp if you let me. So next is a trip to France. Maybe we'll find Arsene on the way. For those of you that are worried about his whereabouts, I'm as worried as you guys are. I don't know where he is since the last time we spoke. And, um, you know, I've I've asked the Arsenal uh, hierarchy if they can you know, put out a search party. But um, 
you know, apparently I'm just as good at not spending the budget as he is, so they're not really that bothered, which seems a little bit unfair. I was praying for, like, an email from them just saying, here you go, here's £50 million pounds for doing really well. We obviously trust you with the budget, go out and buy somebody. But, uh, nothing. Not a sausage. I wonder what I'm going to be, like, advertising. Because it, it just said that it was a really good opportunity, so... I made a joke about shampoo, but maybe I do need to do it, because the hair's getting a little greasy. And obviously Arsenal fans don't like greasy hair managers. Sorry. <laughs> this is also good news for us, because obviously many people will be aware of the talent of Joe Willock. And he's actually gone up uh, in his, well, in his attributes in this game. He's now up to a Wonderkin. You can tell here his attributes are absolutely flying up at the moment. Uh, he's three and a half star rated, and he can only get better. He's been playing a lot in all the cup games, so we will get to see him in the next game against Wren. And let's see how he gets on, but he might be pushing for a spot in that midfield three, which would be really good because at the moment that midfield three is bossing the majority of games that are in. So if he can work his way into that, that would be incredible. Europa League time. We go away to France. We beat them 4-1 first time we met them. And uh, actually, we both already qualified, so this game is actually meaningless. This is more about just who tops the group. So let's hope it's us. And this is how the backup, or the reserves, line up. Uh, Martinez is in goal. Maitland-Niles holding Kera and Bellerin uh, make up the uh, the four at the back. Bellerin is playing in the reserves, so obviously he can get his fitness up. He will obviously take Callum Chambers' place uh, when he is fully fit. Well, having said that, Callum Chambers has been absolutely brilliant this year, playing at 7.11, so maybe he's actually going to stay there. I have no idea. Xhaka, Guendouzi, and Willock make up the midfield three. Willock's playing in the advanced playmaker role, so let's keep an eye on him today and see how he gets on. He's been in very good form this year. 7.68 as an average rating over about seven performances, I think, which is very good. Uh, Emil Smith-Rowe got off the mark for Arsenal in his last game for us, as did Reese Nelson, and Gabriel Martinelli is leading the line up front. Right, I'm going to say the media are giving you a lot of credit lately. Go out there and put on a worthy performance because it gives the uh, the youngsters a bit more confidence. So in the tunnel, off to the kickoff. Let's skip the intro on the way in. Let's get down to business. Let's get down to business to defeat Stadren. I forgot the words. When nothing's going on, karaoke takes over on the Micromunch channel. Aren't you all privileged? Oh, thank God I can stop singing. There's a highlight. Rob holding on the ball, nearly giving it away. Kara, that is delightful. Nelson, oh, he's at the post. Oh, he was offside anyway. So the one highlight we get shouldn't really have even been a highlight. What a, what a terrible first half. Dressing room, team talk, assertively say, I'm not happy. I'm going to take off Granite Xhaka and going to bring on team leader and forgotten man, Mesut Ozil. We're going 4-2-3-1. Mesut gets involved. Go on, mate. Go wreak havoc. Go play, Ozil. Have fun. The, the lack of attacking is not going to do me well with the fans either. They're not going to like that. I'm not liking it. The keeper's having a blinder, I'm going to point out. He's playing at 7.4, but then you could argue that Martinez as well, because he's playing at 7.1, so each to their own. But there's a highlight. Folk, yeah, to Martinez. If we can nick this, it just shows the kind of mentality that I'm forging into this team where we just managed to grind out games when we're not playing well, something Arsenal have never really had since the early days of Wenger. Folk, yeah, on the ball. Good ball. Into I said it was a good ball. It was, a, it was an F1, and oh, no... How come he's called Pefok, but his name is Stor Jordan Sibachu? I mean, that... Oh, folk yeah, mate. This isn't the time to be Watford. Uh, Smith Rowe's going to come off. He's been really poor today. Lacazette's coming on. Martinelli goes out there. Uh, Lacazette comes on. We're going to go attacking. I'm just going to go for it. I always like going for it. Work the ball into the box. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's overlap as well. Let's do everything. Everything! Oh, no. Come on. Not two. Let, let's, let's be reasonable about this, Ren. Mawasa. I think that's how you say it. If it is, I'm very impressed with myself. Mawasa. Let's go take it. Ooh, I say. That was a uh, that was a remarkable strike. Um Bugger, we're not going to win. A remarkable strike as it might be. I don't want to watch it. The youngsters have let me down. Not happy. 2-0. 
I'm a little disappointed. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to be nicer and say, um, uh, actually, no, I'm not. Certainly, that simply put was not good enough, and a lot of the boys didn't really react to that. I don't think that they like it when I get a bit upset. And Lacazette is on a goal drought. Ten hours he's played without football. There was interest in him at the start of the year, and it's tailed off a little bit, and I can kind of see why. His record, I mean, even his record for France isn't good. Three goals in 21 games. He's such a good player, though. He should be doing better than this. He does a good a good job in our team. He rarely ever plays poorly. He just helps knit things together, but I need more in terms of the goal return. So coming up, just cast your eyes down there to these four fixtures. Over two episodes, City. Tottenham away. That is the big one. The North London derby. Harry Kane and co. Travel to their gaff. Can we beat them? We'll find out when we get there. And then after that we're going to have another back to back episode with United and West Ham. West Ham obviously doing very well. And United doing really well for them. Down in 8th. Which is good for United these days. Anyway, uh, enough gloating about that. Thank you so much for watching the episode. Thank you for watching the series so far. If you have made it to this episode, which I'm assuming that you have if you are watching these because otherwise you lose all the context. Uh, it's been a great week. A uh, great starting week. Pretty much most of all manager videos of mine will be during the weekdays now. And my PES videos will be on the weekend. So there will be no FM 2020 over the weekend. We will pick it back up on Monday. And like I said, it's going to start with a massive doubleheader against Champions Man City and the North London Derby. You don't want to miss it. I don't want to miss it. And I'm not going to because obviously I'm the one recording it. But just thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, please do drop a like, share and subscribe. And until I see you in the next episode for the North London Derby against Skanky Spurs. Stay cool.